Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. This time we have the Yahiko Sanjo series Shidogami or white paper number two, Guto 180mm knife. So this knife has three layer construction. The core uh, center hard cutting edge steel is Shidogami or white paper number two, reactive high carbon steel. Heat treats typically about 61 to 62 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction has two layers on either side of that center steel for a three layer construction. The uh, cladding is soft iron, reactive cladding with a Kuda Uchi or blacksmith protective finish on the blade flats before the grind starts towards the edge. The uh, blade itself does not have any stainless on it or anything so it is an all reactive blade. So keep that in mind. The dimensions and weights on these will vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 113 grams or 4 ounces. The edge length is about 187, so a little oversized, about 7.4 inches of usable cutting area. And then the overall length is about 340 millimeters on this knife, including the handle. The spine thickness is a little bit thick coming out of the handle. You can see that right there, but then it thins out quickly. So it thins out even before you get to the heel here, but I measured that part about 3.3 millimeters and then about 2.1 halfway down the blade. We don't have a ton of taper after that until you get to the grind. The grind you can see it's fairly high on these, so starting right where that grind it's you can see it thins out nicely, especially at that very tip. So these will have a nice performing tip on them. And they're also got a fairly high grind, which means it comes up fairly high on the blade. And so you can see they get pretty thin at the edge as well. So these are very nice performing knives. The height on this is 40.5 millimeters, so not especially tall, but the neck is fairly thin right here, and you've got a bit of a gap there between the handle, and that way you can nestle your finger in there. So even though it's only 40 and a half, you still get a lot of ground clearance for your cutting board. So, you know, there's a lot of clearance there for on the cutting board. It should not be a problem for most people, unless you've got really big fingers. The handle is really cool looking. It's a D-shaped, kind of a right-hand oriented D-shaped handle with burnt chestnut. So they've got a burnt finish on it. They've sanded that off to smooth it out where it hits the buffalo horn ferrule. Um, and it's quite pretty darn smooth. They have they've smoothed it out about as best they can without getting in the buffalo horn too much. So that's the color change. But that's a, I think that's a really cool effect. It's almost like a spacer, uh, tapered spacer. It's pretty neat. Uh, the handle and glue up looks pretty clean on this one. And the handle's light, so that brings the balance point actually forward a little bit and kind of more Guto style, even though the blade is fairly uh, small, you know, from a height's perspective. So there's your balance point. There is my pinch grip, so you can see it's pretty close, maybe a touch behind, but pretty darn close to a pinch grip. So a nice neutral feel to it. Personally, D-shaped handles do not bother me. I'm a lefty. I really don't care. So if you like this knife and you're a lefty, don't worry about the D-shaped handle. In my personal opinion, if you pinch grip it, I don't even really feel that D-shaped point to it. It's just there. So um, obviously for the right righty, it kind of flows into your hand. But for me as a lefty, I've never really found those to be objectionable. So I wouldn't take this off your list just because of that handle if you're a lefty, if you use a pinch grip. If you don't use a pinch grip, then it's a little weird having your thumb right there. Some people actually like that though. So depends on your preference. This handle is appropriately thin for this blade from the weight perspective and also, you know, just handling ergonomics. So it's about 63 millimeters where the wood starts, you know, right before the wood hits the buffalo horn or two and a half inches. The uh, blade is nice looking. It's got a kind of a unique kutuchi finish to it. You can see the edge core steel kind of peeking out there. We can get a good beauty shot there for that. Here's the left side of the blade. So these are attractive knives. You've got kind of a little bit of a modeled finish to the Kuda Uchi on these. It's pretty smooth. Here's the right side of the blade. You do have some chiseled kanji on there. You can feel a little bit when you run your fingers across there. The grind on these is fairly high, as you can see. You can easily see where that shoulder is coming down towards the grind. Out of the box edge, uh, it's had a pretty sharp edge on it. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. So, it had a pretty sharp edge on it, out of the box. 
you of course might want to put your own edge on it to clean it up even a little bit more but it was pretty sharp and usable out of the box the um, the spine does show you the layers of the knife construction so the cladding does not cover the spine on this and they've got a you know uh, the edges aren't really rounded but they're not objectionable either on the spine they have uh, ground off a little bit of the edges on the choil on both sides which is nice from a lefty perspective so it's comfortable out of the box so these have a little bit of a rustic feel to them but it's kind of refined at the same time definitely got a handmade product here for sure which is a, a nice look. The um, profile on these, let's take a look. And you can see this actually has a pretty nice flat towards the back third of the blade. There's a little bit of a relief there so you don't slam into a heel super hard, but it flows into a definite stop there. And then you've got a nice flatter section towards the back and then kind of a gentle belly, mid-height tip. So I get fairly high on this in terms of a rock. So this will rock really nicely off medium to low stuff and push-pull cuts, a little chopping. So it's a very versatile profile for this thing. So nicely executed blade. It's really a neat blade. The handle looks cool. Balance point is kind of where you'd want it to be for kind of neutral feel to it. And you know, Sometimes these smaller blades are a little further back. But just a really well done product. So this is the Yahiko Sanjo Shidogami or white number two Guto 180 millimeter knife.